hey guys welcome back to my another video this video is going to be how we can use our checkbox in angular to bind with our tables so basically this is what is going to be look like and this is what we're gonna learn today so basically we have a list of the array which has the only the names here so when i loaded our first time so it just checked on the henry part but if i check on sam then in array we will see the uh, check select as true for Sam and true for Henry as well but if I remove it then we can see that only the Henry part is has going to remove and if I check for the everything then it's going to check on everywhere but if I uncheck on everything then everything is going to be false here and if I check on everything and if I uncheck on only one then this is also going to be removed and this is how what we're gonna build and this everything data what we do a checkbox here it will reflect in our array as well and this is what we're gonna build today so let's get started so I have already built this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this my uh, the thing which I built on my stash so that I will get uh, the fresh uh, angular uh, app here okay this is a fresh angular app nothing is in inside so i don't need a terminal now so i'll just get rid of it and this is the uh, HTML look like so i have a table from bootstrap so i'll just paste it these tables here and okay so this is my table i don't have a bootstrap css uh, in my html so it doesn't look like tables but now it looks like a tables here okay this so what we're gonna do the first thing is we have our tables here looks good everything's so far so in app that component the ts file okay instead of we did i show you guys the demo before with the name but let's change something with the the, the food i guess okay so in the food maybe we have in data right we have an id and in the name we have a dumpling okay so, and we have a select as well right and select is maybe the false right we didn't select this at all and we don't want to order this maybe right and maybe we want to order uh, other food such as like burger so maybe we just make this as true and maybe we want to make this as a as a sandwich it could be any sandwich uh, right sandwich and make this as as a false we don't want to order we want to order only burger so we make this as true so the data it looks good so now let's loop this data in uh, my tables here so the table has basically the one checkbox which is here and this is the uh the column which is a field right so we have only the food so let me do uh, food so the first thing is let me loop this guy uh in a way i have a in ng4 using ng4 so i have in food collections i have a food a variety of food so put this variety of food here first and dot name so this is the uh, food collection here and we have a name select and this guy and we have a select as well so let's first only print the name and we will worry about the other thing okay so okay now how it looks like by cleaning up everything it looks like this looks good so far so now but our checkbox does not work in as like our data here right maybe the initial data we want to uh, make this as a true right burger as a true so what we're going to do now in in our input box here we're going to put here we're going to put as a selected oh not selected sorry checked checked and we want to put that value which is coming from n uh, and and the value is called the select right select so now let's see what happened if i select so now it's checked because our initial data is checked through here let me do this true sandwich as well to see so it looks like the sandwich as well is true but whenever we uncheck it our data does not reflect at all nothing will happen right so we want to change this uh, array so what we're gonna do here is basically now whenever this will change so basically we will put here the change event and we will, we're gonna put here the event name call on change food I guess uh, so on change food I'm gonna put it here to create another one and here we will get the event from current one so this is the event and we will put the event here as well so now we will get the event here 
and basically uh, now we will need to get some data first a uh, couple of data the first thing is we will get the id but we don't know what is the id of here so what we're going to do is we're going to value here we're going to pass the end dot id so now we will get the uh, id in our value attribute so how we can get the id we can do uh, event dot target dot value here okay so this is going to be my id and another thing is we need to also make sure that this is checked or unchecked right so how we can get this we can get this uh, let me give this variable name as is checked or not so we can get this using a event dot target dot checked okay and if we want to print it out see to see the value then let's print it out see how it looks like so now the first thing is let me do here uh, if I check it then number one is true because this is a number one ID so that's why it says true if I do unchecked then it looks like the number one is false looks like our ID does not work well oh because I put the ID same ID everywhere here that's why uh, so let me do as again so if I uncheck two false if I do uncheck three false right if I do check so looks like we are getting the correct value here so we just need to change to our array so as I mentioned there are many ways we can manipulate this array but uh, uh, I'm going to use a map so let's use that so in in this food we're going to use a food dot map and in a map basically it's going to loop and it's going to give you a new array here so in a map so what we're going to do is first thing we need to check that uh, the id that is loop d dot id is equal to the id that is given here okay so if that id is equal then what we're going to do is we can we know that what is the check value in in each check here so we're gonna set that uh, the value on check select sorry in this value and select we're gonna we're gonna select that value and we're gonna return the uh, our uh, array which is coming from here okay and if it does not match then what should happen it should return the default of the array uh, object which is this guy okay so this is the array now we just need to uh, change the the locations of my previous array that's it so this is going to be the food this food and i'm going to print it out on the bottom to see how it's really going on it's going to, to change my array or not okay so now if i do check here so now it should be a, a false true true oh this should be a true as well uh, but if I do this one, let's see. Okay, looks like our data is now working. The reason why I guess is because uh, when we are getting this as a as a string, oh, a string, I guess. So this is an array. So we are using three equal to. That's why uh, it also need to equal the type. We can use change this to string, uh, or we can use a double equal sign. So let's try this. So if I do here, then it should be a true everywhere. Looks good. And if I do here uncheck, then it will do false here. If I do uncheck, then false. And if I do uncheck, then false. Okay. Uh, looks like this is not working. The number one, I guess. Let me check. True. And if I do false, then false. No, it's working. So let me try one more time to make sure everything's working fine. If I do check here, so everything should be true. Good. So now I'll just remove it and I'll just do false. So, so the second one should be false good so far so now oh sorry i, I want to so let me uncheck the last one then two should be false the first should be true and if i uncheck then everything should be false perfect so looks everything is good everything is changing in our data as per the uh, data reflect here in checkbox but let's assume we have another checkbox here as well on the top so what we're going to do for that right so for that one i'm going to copy this input box and i'm going to put it here in my header of course the header doesn't have this value and here if it checked is basically we don't want to check here let's assume the value we don't have any value for this so let's have the negative one right if we have a negative one then 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 this value is uh is nothing i mean and we don't have to do nothing here but if it has select this one then we need to select everything as a true and if we unselect everything should be unselected as a false so let's do that so there is different ways to do it uh, but let's see if we change it here and this value is this guy 
right and and okay value is minus one then let me use here the ng model and give this name as the uh, main selector or parent selector i guess parent select just parent parent selector okay so just create the ng model two-way model binding for parent selector here so let me create a parent selector and this is going to be a boolean and the default value is false do not select anything okay so now it's not selecting anything uh yeah ng model doesn't work the only way to work is to use a form modules here because it's requiring the forms modules which i'm going to import it and put it here so now it will not complain so the default value of the parent selector is false but whenever it ch changes the food it's going to call the same event right then we need to know that this is the a parent that's event is triggering so how we know it uh, so to know it in the id we will get a negative one because uh, we we pass the the value as negative one so if uh, the, the id whatever the id right is negative one which will not match in our uh, data here so if the id is negative one right then then what we're going to do then we're going to make this that's why we know and we bind this to the our uh, ng model so we will get the value here uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass that d dot select to the our model here and we're gonna return the d okay so now let's see how it works so if i click it here it works it works perfectly fine so because this is binding with the ng model so if i click it here so everything is true so if i uncheck now everything is false okay so if i check it here now only the first is true if i check it here the first and second is true of course and if i click it here then first second third is true but if i click it here now everything is true but let's assume if i uncheck this then what happened this should be true uh which just looks good but we want to make this as false as well so how we do that so whenever so how we're going to do is basically if the d dot id the first here what we're going to do is we're going to do this parent selector parent selector is false so whenever uh it's it's match with any of it then make this false so if i click it here everything is true looks good so if i uncheck then of course this is not it will also remove from the top label which is good now if i click it here it should be false and everything is false right if i click it here everything is true if it's false then everything is false so that's all for this video guys i'm going to put this code in github and as i mentioned before there is various ways we can achieve this but this is the i think the easiest way i guess so i'm going to put this code in a github and i hope you guys can like it and if please do subscribe and like my channel i'm going to put more programming tips tricks on these channels and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now